random again a pipe sign will be used but it will use only random values depending on the tags you have sent okay now this thing can you look this is the whole query i have left the queue blank this queue will get from here queue string and we will add it at the uh, end now where did i get this thing where did i get this field detail and all that uh let's go to get json now can you see this get json this is a jquery function this function takes your query string which i have created on top and when result is brought back basically it calls this function it is not necessary to write the function inside get json you can also give a function name which will be called when the result is ready but anonymous functions have quite a few uh advantages therefore i have used an anonymous function this is just an anonymous anonymous function you may use a different function depending on your own algorithm okay now the function is called with the result as a variable i have named this data you can name it anything you want i have created a new uh, array which is of the same length as the uh, all the entries okay entries are the number of videos which has which uh, has been written okay so i have created one of this uh, double dimension double dimensional multi dimensional array and for each entry can you see that for each entry again i call a function again it's an anonymous function okay so for the each entry that's like for each in visual basic or any other uh, language this is nothing this is same as for each okay so uh this function gets called for each of the entries now what i do for each of the entries i pass them into uh the information which i require first thing which i check let me make it very clear this is to check whether there has been any restrictions put on that video if there are any res uh, restrictions then what i do i put a hash in the uh in my array okay just to represent that this video cannot be embedded and the reason okay the reason for not being able to embed is shown here as you can see i have again treated it as a multi dimensional associative array if there is no restriction restrictions are always written in this this tag youtube gives the restriction in these tags okay application control and yt state okay now first of my uh, array values is thumb title that is the title of the video which i get from simply title percentage t which i showed you let me go back to that entry and here we go title this is the first key second key is percentage t and this will be the value simple as that now let's start thumb image again the thumb we have to go where media group media thumbnail the first one and the key will be url let's again have a look what i'm talking about okay uh well here thumbnail as you can see uh, what i was trying to explain before i was disturbed uh this is media group this is the first key then we go on to the second part of the second key which is media thumbnail as you can see here and inside media thumbnail we have another key called url but url there are multiple keys that's the first one the second one the third and the fourth one so just like an array what we do we access the first url key with the index value of 0 and the associate key of url so we go back again here we are thumb image media group media thumbnail the first key which key url same way we go to media group media thumbnail and we get the width the height all right and we get the player url this url is the uh, complete uh, link for uh, uh, playing the video you can use this complete link just to type it in your uh, browser and you can uh, open the youtube window which will play this video okay so as i said you can use this url or you can use the uh, video id which i am going to show you next now in this thumb url after the v 
there is a uh, video ID which we are going to pass out. Let me show you where this video ID is. Uh, as I was saying, this is your media group, then this is your media player, and here is your URL which we have already stored. But now we need to pass out the video ID. As I told you earlier, this is your video ID which I am going to pass out through a simple JavaScript code. As you see, I just take the uh, video ID value and store it in BID. If there is no BID, as you know, I told you earlier, we store the reason for not having a BID. That's it. And we have our data in a double dimension associative array. Now, why did I use a double dimension array or what I'm going to do with this double dimension array is a subject which I will deal in my next part of the video. What I do, I will just give you a simple example. I have another class called YouTube slider class, which uh, has some functions which will use this data, which I am providing it from here and show you the uh, slideshow which I showed you earlier. Just to refresh your memory, we will show you the slideshow again. Here we go. This is the slideshow which I showed you. Okay. This is a separate class. This has nothing to do with your uh, YouTube data class. Okay. YouTube data class gets the data and calls the function of this class. Okay. So you can use it separately. Suppose you do not want to show YouTube data. You just want to show your own uh, uh, photograph. That's completely acceptable. You can do it by just creating a double dimension array. That's it. You just have to create a double dimension array and store your uh, title, in thumb image, everything here. You do not have to use YouTube. You can use your own uh, photograph to make a slideshow. That's the beauty of this part and that's why I have kept it separate from uh, sl uh, slider is separate and the YouTube uh, class is separate. This is just the data. You, can, you may or may not use this class. You could use the slider class completely separately. Okay, now let's see another function which uh, brings the uh, uploaded video. Suppose you have uploaded something. So you have a username, like I have uploaded some videos, I have a username. Give this function the username and it will bring the data for you from YouTube. One last part which I must uh, mention is there are some parameters which must be set without which the function call, uh, the uh, Ajax call won't work. So the, the parameters are very simple. Alt equals to JSON in script. This is your JSON in script, whichever way you to want to pronounce. This must be there, A, and B, callback is equals to nothing. This must be there. If you don't give these two things, the function call will not work. Okay, again. What I do, I get the uploaded videos, how? By using this, just give the username and you will get your uploaded videos. Now, suppose you are not using your own username, maybe you are using somebody else's username, you are free to do it as long as the videos are public. If the videos are not public, you will not be able to get any uh, videos because private videos are not accessible from by using this method. Private videos can be accessed only through uh, uh, proper validation. That is the Google validation code. You have to write it, write that and then only you can get your private videos. The third and the last uh, function which I have put here is uh, get playlist videos. Now get playlist videos, but remember I have made two Ajax calls. First to get the data from the, uh, sorry, first to get the playlist data and then to get the videos data. All right, there might be four or five playlists. Like suppose I have three playlists in my, by my name. So first it gets all the playlists, then you get the playlist feed link and use it to get your video data. Okay, this is very important. This one gets all the playlists which are in your name. There might be five, six, seven, I don't know. All the playlists are returned as a feed then it checks the name of the playlist which you have given in your doc, uh, search uh, document. I will show you that. 
and gets only the feed for that playlist by the second get json call all right so please remember i am making two get json calls one to get all the playlist and the next to get the data for that particular playlist okay there is a playlist but this has made two call uh, ajax call not a single one like the earlier uh, functions 